In this question, we are asked to convert 1 to 5 in base 6 to a number in base 2. So, how do we transition from base 6 to base 2? Our best um, means of solving this question is to first go ahead and convert to base 10. And then from base 10, we can go to base 2. As a rule of thumb, if we are giving a number in any base to convert to another base, let's first convert to base 10, then we can go from base 10 to any other bit as requested. So, how do we now get this one round? One, two, five, base six to base ten. We are going to multiply each of the entity, each of the digit by six, raised to power the corresponding power of six. So now, for like the last entry five, we have six raised to power zero. For two, six raised to power one, and for one, six raised to power two, as shown. So one times six raised to power two is thirty-six. Two times six raised to power one is twelve. 5 times 6 raised to power 0. Any number raised to power 0 is 1. So that will be 5 times 1, which is 5. 36 plus 12 plus 5 will be 48 plus 5. That will be 53. That will be 53 base 10. So 1, 2, 5 base 6 is actually 53 in base 10. So now we have 53 in base 10 that we want to convert to base 2. We are going to achieve this by doing a division by 2 and noting all the remaining value when we are dividing 53 by 2. And then all those remainders are going to constitute what will yield the number in base 2 for us. So, to convert 53 base 10 to base 2, we divide by 2 and take all the remaining values, the remainder values. If it is 0, then we note 0. If it is 1, we know 1. And those are the only two numbers that we can have as our remainder, either 2. 0 or 1. So now let's draw up our long division. We have 53. I want to be dividing by 2. So we have 2 in 53. 2 in 5 is 2, remaining 1. 2 in 13 is 6, remaining 1. So we have plus 1. 2 in 26. 2 in 26 is 13, and there is no remainder. So we have plus 0. 2 in 13 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. So we have 1 as our remainder. 2 in 6 is 3. And there is no remainder. So we write plus 0. 2 in 3 is 1. And there is going to be a remainder 1. Because 2 times 1 is 2. And 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 in 1 is 0. And we have 1 as our remainder. So our value of um, 53 in base 10 converted to base 2 will be this value taken from the base up. So we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1 in base 2. And this is option C, which is the correct answer for us to pick. That's all we're going to be having for today is Tooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click on the notification icon, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones, share with your relatives, and together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.